and now if you go for the center here you can see that we need to cut up for the mouse wheel but of course we need to make the mouse wheel first uh, we could actually have cross section uh, turned on here let's go for the center here so if i choose zero we will have the cross section exactly in the middle there and accept that okay so let's do the wheel now i can go for this middle plane and just ask for an extruded boss base look at the corner we are in a sketch so let's go flat normal too so now i need to position a circle where we believe it should be so somewhere around there needs to stick out a little bit so maybe i should move it up a little bit choose escape take that and move it up okay so maybe not that far hmm yeah maybe something like that again this could be adjusted we could also of course dimension this so maybe it needs to be exactly 26 millimeter then we could adjust it to that i go out from the sketch and we get a proposal to go in one direction but i change it into mid plane and we also need to decide the thickness of this wheel here so 14 is a little bit too much 10 is maybe a little bit too much how about 8 hmm 8 8 might work maybe we could go for that oh, let's have a look at 6 millimeter and see oh let's stay on 8 we go for 8 millimeters so now I made a really simple wheel here uh, I, I did a mistake here now what could that be you could see that these are merged together that is the mistake this is actually not its own solid body they have merged so let's go back with right click and edit feature and turn off merge so I would like to handle this wheel on its own I don't want it to merge into the shell okay now if, if you look again you can see that we have these cutting into each other we could also see in the tree here that we have two solid bodies so we have the shell and we have that body okay this is the ugly ugly little wheel here uh, let's turn off the cross section here so what I will do here is I will make this a little bit smoother by choosing a fillet here and on the other side and we might do this bigger so we change the value here so how about three millimeter maybe slightly smaller because I would like to have a flat area there in the middle yeah, so how about 2.5 yeah, I'll go for that. Okay. So now we have a wheel, a mouse wheel that looks quite all right. Uh, so now we need this one to cut out in the shell here, so we get some clearance, and and we need clearance, so we can't really use this wheel. To, to do the cutting because then we will have zero clearance there so what I will do instead is that I will I will choose either to make a new wheel that will be a copy of this one but slightly bigger or I could choose that surface shift click that surface that surface that surface and that surface and make an offset of those so it will be a copy that is slightly bigger that we could use for cutting so if we move down here here we have offset surface so let's choose offset surface and we have already picked these faces here so we get a crazy preview here of a 10 millimeter offset but let's say we go for one millimeter 
which might be a, a nice clearance. So now we get a preview that looks good. If you have missed one surface here, you can always add it in, in the blue window. But I accept this now and we should have a nice knife for cutting. Okay, uh, so now there is a lot of stuff going on here at the same time. So first of all, um, we could turn on the cross section tool again and accept that. So then we can have a look inside and see what we got. So we have the mouse wheel here. We have a surface out a little bit outwards, one millimeter exactly, and we have the shell. So the mouse wheel here is a little bit in the way. So let's hide that one. So I go into the tree here and say hide, which makes it a little bit easier to see what's going on. So now I will use these surfaces here for cutting. So we have all those surfaces there in the tree and let's use this as a tool for cutting. So to cut, you go up to insert, cut with surface. So if I choose this one, you can see that it grabbed this, otherwise you could move it in. Yes, we like it to work with the bodies that are visible. So it's good that we have hidden the wheel. Okay, and we go for accept. Oh, first of all, we need to check the arrow here. So the arrow is pointing inwards. That's perfect. So we would like to get rid of everything. Cut inwards. So let's accept. And now we can zoom in and see what happens when I choose OK. Wow, look at that. It's perfect. So the knife, the surface is here. We don't really need them anymore. Um, we shouldn't delete them, but we, we should hide them. So I do a right click here and choose hide. Okay, so if you zoom out a little bit, click in space, you can see that we have made an opening for the wheel. And of course we could make some rounding here. Let's turn off the cross section here. Use a little bit of filleting here again. So let this run all the way around and look at that isn't that amazing it just runs all the way around without any complaints the size is a little bit too big though so in this case i would try with just maybe 0 0.5 or something and then we get a preview okay maybe we could take the inside at the same time yeah so if we accept that we have smoothened all the edges there a little bit and it's amazing how quick and easy that was just think about the time spending this in rhino or alias okay let's bring back the wheel so we could have a look at this together so now we have the wheel there and we have some space in between that looks nice now i would like to make a little bit better grip on, on this mouse wheel here. So I would like to make two caps on each side and then I would like to make a rubber thing in the middle. So if we're working with the mouse wheel I will hide the shell. So I go for the shell and choose hide. Okay, so that makes it a little bit easier to work with this. This is just one solid body. So if I would like to have different materials here, we need to cut it up into pieces. So if I would like to cut, we know that we could use surfaces to cut, but we could also use just a sketch. So if I choose a plane here, the top plane here, we could make a sketch here to cut with. So if I go for sketch and go flat, normal to a center line is quite handy to have so I go for a line and zoom in here so I would like to make a line from there 
cuts through the wheel. And I would like to make another one on the other side. So I would like to cut from there to there. These lines here would be nice if they were symmetrical. So if I shift click this, shift click a center line and shift click a third entity, we should have symmetric as a possibility. So if I choose symmetric here, it adjusted a little bit. So that's great. Now I could decide for a dimension here between these two here. So let's say I go for four millimeters. Then I could cut through here and uh, so if I accept this sketch here, what we actually have done is just a sketch in space. But now we could use this for cutting. And we're dealing with solid stuff here. So under features we might have a possibility here to choose cutting but now it's called splitting so if I go for split we could choose the trim tool and it has already grabbed the sketch here if you don't have anything in the blue window there if I delete that one we could just go out here and choose the sketch and it jumps into the blue window here we need to put in the body to be cut. So that is the body that needs to be cut. And now we have the body, we have the sketch that will be the two knives here. We could choose cut. And now it shows that the result is three pieces. So if we accept this now, we have three pieces that we will get out of this. So I will just say OK to this and we will have more bodies, more solid bodies. So if I go up here, we suddenly see that we have one split piece there. That will be the rubber part. We have two caps on each side. OK. So if we work with uh, with um, with one of the caps here and we could hide this sketch so I have hidden everything except one of the wheel caps one of the side of the wheels here we could just for fun we could also put in an appearance here so I go for the library and go for some interesting so what could be interesting let's go for wood so let's make a wood cap there okay sorry i was too quick there let's take something else while we're still at it polished ash okay go for that one and now you need to slide here you could choose just a surface a feature or a body and this is what we would like to have we don't want to go for the complete file the complete mouse but we would like to go for this body okay great let's do the same thing with the other cap so bring that ah oh, that was the rubber piece okay and there we go and i bring that in for that side and i click body okay so we have two wood sides there Okay, let's bring in some rubber for this one. Textured. This looks interesting. So let's grab one of these, move them out and drop. So if I accept that one and zoom in, we can see that we have a fine, fine, fine texture here. So let's uh, see how we could adjust the texture quite easily. So if you have shoot something from the library, it goes into the left panel. And here we go for this one that we just added. And here you have mapping. You also have an advanced and basic tab. So if we start out with basic and go for mapping, then we could adjust between regular 
big big mapping and fine so in this case big, big mapping is quite nice if you go for advanced we could choose this with numerical values if we go for advanced and scroll down i have a possibility here to change it even more so here you can go really really big if you like or you could put in an exact value so if you have some values that you have tried out you you could test that okay so now we have a rubber middle of the mouse wheel and uh, now we, we might realize that it could be nice with a little bit more rubber so let's see if we could change the sketch that we used for cutting so here we have a sketch there with a value and we have 3.5 millimeter what happens if we go up to let's say five nothing but let's go for rebuild so if I choose rebuild now you can see that it widens so that's quite nice so we could let a little bit more rubber come forward uh, and we could continue to work with this if we like so let's see what happens if we go for six millimeters so if I go for six I also have rebuild here so I click rebuild there and now I have six millimeter yeah why not or yeah let's go for this so I accept that one and I also like to have some kind of pattern on on this one so if we jump back to the web page we can see that the, the wheel here the mouse wheel have some kind of that look like teeth all the way around so let's do something similar so let's jump back to SolidWorks so in this case I would like to cut a little bit and let's hide the wooden pieces so I go for right click and hide and right click and hide and it's a little bit difficult to, to know what is the, the caps here so I could rename this and call it cap one and cap two or cap right and cap left and I might re now there is there is no meaning if I rename this one here it, it will just change its name instantly when we start to do some feature because it takes the last feature name as the body name so it doesn't matter okay so if we would like to cut now we could just cut a little bit here and then we could pattern it all the way around so let's choose a plane here to work on so if I go for that plane we can see that it's too far away I, I actually would like to have a plane straight in the middle there don't we have that maybe we could find one so where is that plane now it's too far in front here so let's see if we could position a plane exactly in the middle of this mouse wheel here and um, we could go for a top plane if you like so if we go for the top plane here and make a copy so if I control drag this one it would be nice to have it absolutely in the middle there so if we choose a second reference maybe we could have it positioned correctly and then we also need to change this from a distance into just being parallel with this original one so now it's just it's just parallel but it doesn't know the height so we need to find a second reference here so if I <clears throat> have this circle here I really would like to have the middle middle there maybe we have a sketch that we could use so if I scroll down here see what we got what is that that is the cutting fillet surface here we have something there we have a sketch if you make that sketch visible ah, 
look at that let me, let me go to center point there so now into the blue window here for the plane we could say please be parallel with the top plane but at that point okay great so that means now we have a plane cutting straight through the wheel so I accept this one so we have a plane now it doesn't need to be that big we could just have it just around the wheel there and remember this is infinitely big so it doesn't really matter the size here okay so let's make a little cut here so I will choose to make um, let's say a simple extruded cut here or could we make it a little bit more interesting maybe we could let's go for an extruded cut here make it simpler for ourselves okay so we're inside a sketch so let's go flat and I just would like to cut in a little bit here so we get some teeth so maybe we could shape it a little bit so let's go for something that is maybe like a circle here we, we could chop the circle off later on with power trim so let's say we were, just would like to use that piece there and then we could unclick circle tool and then we can choose the silhouette here so if I shift click these silhouettes here we could convert them why not choose convert directly and then add in that silhouette that silhouette that silhouette that silhouette oops I just clicked the wrong one delete I just would like to have the silhouette there yep and that one please and choose okay now we got a black line here it's hard to see because of, of the rubber here but you need to trust me I go for trim and then I just burn away that one and here we also burn away a little bit I go down here and do the same on that side okay we have a little piece some pieces here as well so we could just clean up everywhere so there is nothing left there so what is left now should be a fence just following the silhouette we could have made it oversized also um, but this is a little bit more clean modeling and we have a depth here maybe we like to have a dimension here of, of that depth so choose that one and that we could say okay that goes for the circle middle of the circle there so let's say okay to that and here we actually have a possibility to, to grab this one and say that we, we don't want to measure to the center we actually would like to measure there so please just that value so here we could say okay 1.2 so maybe we would like it to be 1.5 and then we see it it starts to look a little bit funny there here it's all right so this one we need to do something there so let's escape the dimensioning and then bring that one down to the right position there so then we have a constraint and we should have a constraint there as well but it looks good so maybe it's good so hopefully we have it fully defined I wonder if that is all right let's see we will get the answer soon if I go out from the sketch it will try to laser burn out here and I also would like to take away a little piece there so I go for mid plane and bring it down from 10 to maybe just two millimeter or something so if I accept that we have cut a little piece out there and we could also add a little bit of fillets here or chamfer if, if you prefer chamfers mm, okay so we, we can see what happens if we go for a chamfer it needs to be a tiny tiny one 
let's start with 0 0.5 and see what happens so if I shake choose these edges here and look at that it just runs almost all the way around and that oh I think I used the wrong thing there I just jumped out of the chamfer tool let's go back add it move around a little bit more carefully choosing that edge that looks better let's grab the other side and that oh perfect absolutely great okay we have a chamfer so now we have a starting point for making a pattern here this plane here is in a little bit in the way so let's hide it okay goodbye so the pieces here I would like to revolve and remember when you revolve sorry make a pattern you would like to have a center point and now I have a visible center point because I made this circle here uh, visible in the sketch but we could probably have used just the surface here uh, because it's revolved it has an axis somewhere okay let's go for circular pattern and it would like to have a feature and it also would like to have an axis Let, let's take the axis first so i make it blue marked and now when we have that spot there we could try to click on that one it doesn't understand that so if i go for a cylindrical shape yeah then it found an axis so it accepted that great now i go for features because this is a feature down here and we get a preview that's great uh, and we need to remember that we have the chamfer that's also a feature so if I choose that we also have the chamfer pattern and now we can just bring in more of these so we can just add more of these until it looks good and the question is maybe that's a little, a little bit too much here okay something like that so if we accept that we have a crazy pattern there but you will have a good grip when you use the mouse wheel great I'm happy with that this sketch here could be hidden so if I try to right click on that sketch I can say goodbye hide and let's bring back cap number one cap number two okay that looks really good let's see the rest of the mouse so choose that okay it starts to look like a mouse there we have clearance all the way around there so that's perfect okay what is the next step let's go for the web page and see what what we need to do so we have done something similar here uh, we need to to cut up so we have uh, the pieces here for for the buttons we also need to make the bottom piece uh, its own solid body so let's cut that off uh, and um, make it in a, put it in a safe place that means that we will hide it so in this case if I turn on the cross-section tool here you can see that right now this is the same material going in. oh look at that <laughs> the wheel is going in into the underneath here wow that was kind of cool that was not my intention so that was kind of interesting so actually we should move this up a little bit so so it doesn't go through there <laughs> okay so let's see if we, if we move this up what happens and, and then we could continue with the bottom plate after that okay we need to find the sketch again that I just made hidden so there we have the cut extrude and there we have the sketch so if you go into this sketch here uh, we could see that we have a diameter so we could actually do two things here we could we could make it a little bit smaller and, and also bring it up so 
actually we don't even need to go into the sketch we have the dimension here so let's see what happens if we bring it down to 23 millimeter and choose enter and it recalculates everything isn't that crazy the pattern everything is recalculated okay good and we might need to move it up a little bit so I can just grab these arrows here and now it's not touching anymore Okay, a little bit more. And you see that the clearance follows, which is really cool. So it's still exactly one millimeter in between all the parts here. And now, now we have air here in between. So maybe we didn't need to move it that far. So maybe we could bring it back a little bit. Come on. A little bit. So it's just barely I right, goes in a little bit. Go back there. Continue to tweak this forever. Oh, now it's clean. Let's leave it like that. Okay, uh, back to the the base plate here. Uh, so I would like to keep this safe. Uh, when we start to cut out the buttons so I would like to use a surface here to cut with uh, I, I believe we could use this surface here to cut with or actually split so let's see what happens uh, I wonder if it could be in the cross section uh, still when we're doing this we could try I go for insert and go for features features when dealing with bodies and here we have the split command so split means cutting but still keeping the stuff it asks for a trim tool and the trim tool in this case I will try to use this surface here so let's see if it works and then I just say cut um, in this case we could we could go for all bodies selected bodies might be a little bit more safe Let, let's stay with selected bodies and say that body should be cut so i go for cut bodies bodies not bodies <laughs> and now we could see that it had done quite a lot it had made several pieces here uh, and the pieces that i would like to keep is actually all of them so I mark them to be involved in this cutting. I accept this. Uh, we need to go up here and see what we got. We got one piece there. We got another piece there. We got another piece there. We got another piece there. And then we got this piece here. Okay. So this is almost perfect. The only problem here is that I actually would like to have all these pieces here together. So in this case, I needed to split the outside surface here, but I also unintentionally cut it through the towers here. So, and, and we need to do this. So I will, we will let it be splitted, but we will glue it together again. So <laughs> splitting and combining. So in this case, I go for uh, insert and feature combine. So I will glue these back again. I already have them picked. So I, I choose add here, and this should now be one body again. So I choose add. And if we look at solid bodies and you go for combine, could see that this is one piece let's go back here to solid bodies so if I hide this one now we actually have hidden the bottom plate so now it's safe 